Okay, hopefully you read both passages, so now we're on number 9, which says, which best describes the relationship between passage 1 and passage 2? Well, let's recap the main ideas from both. Um, in passage 1, uh, it's basically saying that there is something wrong with journalism. Right, in line 7 it says, and what really is wrong with journalism? Um, lack of accuracy and fairness, too much sensationalism, and bias are all components of the problem, right? So in passage 1, he's basically saying that there is a problem, right? Now in passage 2, it says, in the first line, conditions for journalism have never been better. Robust media profits, strong legal protections, and sophisticated technology. And then he's like, yet there are these people who are saying there's problems, right? So passage one are the people that are saying there's problems. Passage two is saying it's conditions in journalism are great, but people are saying there are problems. People like the people in passage one, right? So um, it says, which best describes the relationship between passage one and passage two? A says, passage one describes a particular campaign for change, whereas passage two challenges the, necess the necessity of that change. I like that, right? Because passage one is talking about how um, uh, there are these movements to fix journalism, right? And passage two is saying journalism is fine, right? So passage two challenges the necessity of that change, right? Why do we need to change anything? Journalism's okay, right? So right now I like A. Let's look if there are, there's a better answer. Let's go to B. Passage 1 describes the cause of sensationalism in journalism, whereas Passage 2 explores its effects. I don't really like that, right? Because um, Passage 1 isn't really looking at the cause of sensationalism, right? He lists it as part of the problem. He says lack of accuracy, fairness, too much sensationalism, but he doesn't really talk about why that's a, like what causes that. And Passage 2 also doesn't really talk about the effects of sensationalism. So um, I don't really like B. C. Passage 1 praises an individual's influence on journalism, whereas Passage 2 questions that individual's contributions. Um, so Passage 1, I don't think is about a very specific individual, like a person. Um, and Passage 2 is not also about um, an individual's contribution. So I don't like that, right? Both are about journalism in general, not about a specific person. Um, so let's go to D. Passage 1 suggests that journalism is evolving, whereas Passage 2 argues that it is stagnating. Um, I don't think that's the main point, right? Passage 1 is not saying that journalism is evolving. He's just saying there are these movements, right, to help it be better. Right, which I guess could be interpreted as evolving, but I don't think passage two is saying that it's stagnating. Right, he's actually saying uh, conditions for journalism have never been better: robust profits, strong legal protections, and sophisticated technology. So he's saying that like um, it's also improving; it's getting better. Right, so yeah, I don't like D so much. E passage one defines the purpose of journalism, whereas passage two examines journalism's impact on society. Um, yeah, again, I don't think those are the main ideas from those passages, right? Passage 1 is not defining the purpose of journalism. It's talking about these movements that are trying to improve journalism. Um, and Passage 2 does not really examine journalism's impact on society, right? It's talking about, like, how journalism is just fine, and these people are trying to change it, but I, really there's nothing wrong with it, right? So I like A, right? Because A is more to the point. Um, passage 1 describes a particular chain, uh, campaign for change, um, which it definitely, definitely does. Um, uh, and uh, Passage 2 challenges the necessity of that change, yeah, and which it definitely does. He's saying, we don't need these changes, right? Journalism is just fine. So A is probably your best answer.